Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again, looking at the weather. I hope you had a great weekend. I know the weather didn't prevent you from having a good weekend. Lots of sunshine. It's going to continue all the way through the week. It looks like into the weekend with temperatures every day near 50 degrees. So all the snow continues to melt and we'll talk more weather in just a little bit. Our photograph for tonight sent in by Jim and Pat Donovan. They were able to capture Boreal Owl. Boreal Owl, that's, that's hard to say. Anyway, in their uh, tree outside their home, and that again is a very impressive looking uh, creature there. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. What's going on at the airport right now? Well, our high temperature for the day, 46 degrees. Right now, 45 degrees. The overnight low last night, 16. Record high, 1915, 58 degrees that day. Record low, 12 below in 1914. And our sunrise and sunset, 15 hours and 13 minutes of beautiful sunshine. And that is a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Our satellite and radar, again, nothing going on in the interior because high pressure has really established itself across the interior. That's helping to keep any clouds or moisture off to the west and to the east and to the south. And, uh, and the other thing is coming in from the south is warmer temperatures, and that's reflected on our maps today. As you can see, temperatures very nice, 49 degrees around Anchorage Bowl, 51 to Ketchikan. A little shower activity there. A few snow flurries up on the north slope at Barrow. Nice weather up and down the west coast and over the northeast too, where Fort Yukon checked in with 46 for their high today. Lower 48 weather, a little more activity going on. In fact, we're looking at showers over the Pacific Northwest. Nice weather over to the southwest, not as hot as it was last week. A lot of energy moving across the southern sections of the country, especially over the deep south and some showers around the New York area. On our satellite and radar, look at this energy moving across the deep south. In fact, right now as we speak, Montgomery, Alabama getting pounded with heavy rainfall and some snow moving across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Just can't quite get rid of that. Another frontal system moving in here. And as far as the overall jet stream pattern, once again, diving down to the south and helping to cold, bring the cold air in and clashing with the moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And that will give them more showers and thunderstorms uh, through the week over the deep south. While out to the west, it's dry and warm. All right, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Here's what the northern sections look like. Cloudy skies at Barrow and Nome. Mostly sunny skies at Fort Yukon. And the same weather forecast for the interior. Lots of sunshine for Fairbanks and Haley. Just a few clouds around the Delta Junction area. Over southeast Alaska, a little rain to talk about. Cloudy skies in general, but there are some areas of rain expected in the Ketchikan area. While out to the southwest, we're looking at, for the most part, rain at Cold Bay and rain and snow in Kodiak and mostly cloudy skies for Bethel. And over the south central regions, it looks like rain and snow in Valdez, but mainly cloudy skies at Homer and Anchorage. Time once again for our weather fact, and this week our weather fact takes us to the year of 1886 in Rice, Minnesota, where a tornado hit a wedding party and unfortunately killed six folks there. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank, and again, uh, next week we'll be visiting with the kids from Crawford Elementary School. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Looks like clear skies, a beautiful night, 21 degrees, and it's great for viewing the eclipse. Now, what eclipse am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about an eclipse, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. 50 degrees, another day like today, lots of sunshine. Now, here's the eclipse. As you can see, we're looking at this uh, happening tonight between 9 and midnight when the moon will pass right behind the Earth's shadow. And as it does, the light coming from the sun will bend around the Earth and light it up and give it an orange color to it. It's called a blood moon. It'll be interesting to see, and with uh, clear skies tonight, we should have a real good opportunity to see that. Okay, here's your Fairbanks uh, five-day outlook, as you can see here. Looking at possible showers on Wednesday, but temperatures once again right around the 50 degree mark every day. Overnight lows will also be very, very warm as they have been. Looking at those temperatures right around the low to mid-20s each night. And uh, this weather pattern is going to continue to melt all that snow, and that's good news.